Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe, I'm back with another quick insight and today we're going to be looking at uh, this scene right here. I know you recognize it, Blender guys out there, you recognize this scene, don't you? <laughs> well, guess what? So what you see now is real-time rendering inside of Omniverse, right? So you're used to seeing this scene inside of Blender. So let's go to Blender over here and I have it set to Eevee right now. So if I rotate around, you can see the scene, right? And that's Eevee is equivalent to real-time rendering. And then when I switch to Cycles, and then you can see it doing like path tracing essentially, right? And when I move it around, you can see how it looks, right? So today I'm gonna walk you through how to get this scene from Blender and render it inside of uh, Omniverse. And what is cool is that this is real time. So this will be the equivalent of uh, Eevee right now as I'm rotating around, but you see how much faster even that is compared to Eevee and how beautiful the renders look, retaining all the lighting. And you can also do path tracing. Look at that. <laughs> look at how beautiful that looks. And look at how fast it's rendering, right? So let me walk you through how to get this scene from Blender into Omniverse. First thing that you need to do is go to uh, blender.org in the download section over here, demo files, and just go ahead and download uh, Blender 3.5, this one, this scene right here. And if you want to play, you can download other projects as well. But this is the one that I'm testing. Once you've downloaded it, the next stage is to go to the Omniverse launcher, right? Make sure you sign up for an account with an, an NVIDIA account and install the Omniverse launcher. And inside of Omniverse, there are different tabs, right? So you have, let's go to the exchange over here. You have apps and this is where you need. So it's not a connector. It's not a connector for Blender. It's an actual app. So what they've done is they've created a version of Blender. Right now it's a 3.6 and in, in it, it has a built-in connector for uh, for Blender. So it's a, it's a, a, almost a Blender version of Omniverse, <laughs> okay? So what you have to do is uh, just, uh, it's right here actually. You, you don't even have to search, but if you want to show you, type in Blender and be able to find it. But under the app, there are 24 of them. Here's the one that you need, okay? And this is the most recent one. It was published on the 20th of June. So they will keep updating these. So whenever there's a new version of uh, Blender, they, they'll be able to add this on there because they, they really are interested in helping the Blender community know how to you know, be able to send scenes. So I've done tests. We have actually sent Wonder Studio scenes from Blender to Omniverse and the render times are so much faster. So go ahead and install it. If it's not, right now I've already installed it, but you have the ability to install it if you don't already have it. And you can drop down and see all the different views that you have. So once you've installed it, you're not gonna find it on your desktop or in your you know launcher over here on the start menu. You have to come to the Omniverse launcher, go to the library. It's gonna show up as the Blender 3.6 Alpha, and depending on which one you're working with, well, as, as of the recording of this video, this was the 3.6, right? And so when you're ready, just go ahead and click Launch, and it's gonna launch the Blender version, okay? So let's go back to this one right here, which we've launched. And so in Blender, when you launch Blender, it's gonna be, sorry, let me back up a little bit. Let me go back. When you click on launch here, it's gonna launch this Blender version right here. Okay, so let me close this so you can actually see how I did it. So I'll go ahead on click on the Blender Alpha USD branch click on that and it's gonna launch this Blender version, right? Click away. And then I'm gonna go ahead and import that scene. I'll go ahead, file, open scene. And I have several of them that I've already downloaded. So the one that we need is this one, the 3.5 splash. Go ahead and open it. And just give it a few, maybe a couple minutes or minutes. 
Okay, and there it is. So you can do a quick preview if you want to see what it looks like, like in uh, Cycles and EV. But right now what we're interested in is exporting it, okay? So let's go ahead and click on this little tab right here. And you're gonna find the Omniverse connector over here, okay? So go ahead and export the USD. You don't, you don't even have to select anything. Just click outside and click on export over here. Now this is important in here in the export settings. So if you want the animation to be sent to uh, Omniverse, make sure that you check animation. And if you want the lights to be included, make sure that the lights are also included. So just go through, if there are characters in your scene, make sure you add the amateurs and all that in the geometry make sure all these are selected so that you don't miss out on anything all right and when you're ready just uh, go ahead to the go to the folder where i highly recommend that you put it in your projects folder in your local host right so if i go to my launcher over here i go to the layout that is the default layout so in omniverse there's a, a structure that is necessary for you to, you have to be able to, uh, first of all, make sure that you're logged into your uh, Omniverse Nucleus. There's an, you, have create, you have to use your account, your NVIDIA account, and then create pro, a projects folder under the Omniverse tab, not on C, not on the drive C over here, create it under here. Create a, a projects folder, and then put it, uh, just create a folder here, I have a Blender, and then, you can also create this folder while you're exporting. So let's go back to Blender over here. So we've, uh, when I was browsing, I was able to find my folder using the local host project, which I had already created. But you can also, once it's selected, you can create a click on the plus sign here and add a new folder. So let's say just Blender 2. Click OK and give it a name. Then the splash to. Okay. And let's make sure that uh, we can see the bottom part over here. And click OK. So make sure you scroll all the way down, click OK. Now give it some time to finish exporting. And usually I don't see like a progress bar, but <laughs> this little icon will show up. Just give it time. Depending on how heavy the scene is, uh, you may have to wait a little bit or it might just go super fast. But uh, give it time, don't interrupt it. <laughs> Let it export and do its thing. And uh, when it's ready, you'll be able to load an Omniverse over here. And so it will show up in the folder that you created. So if you go back, there's Blender 2, you can see it over here. And there's the splash scene. That's about 98, so I th let me check and see if it's done. Yeah, it's done. Okay, so let's go back over here. Let's create, uh, just do File, New, uh, don't save. And then here, just simply double click on this USD file. And there you have it. <laughs> Ah, isn't that amazing? So uh, the default lighting is gonna look like that. It looks washed out, but what you need to do is simply go to the perspective um, camera over here and enable the auto exposure. And you can also find that under render settings and under post-processing, it's the same button right here. Just uh, turn on uh, auto exposure. And there you have it, guys. <laughs> And now you're free to switch to path tracing, depending on, on what kind of uh, graphics card you have. I have the 6000 ADA, the RTX 6000 ADA version. It has a uh, 48 gigabytes of RAM, but you can see here. So when I switch to path tracing, look at how fast it renders. So 512 samples, it's going to achieve that in, let's see in 9.8 seconds <laughs> so every time i refresh it's gonna so here you can see when i scale my window you can see the size of uh, the screen uh enlarging getting larger but there you go you have it guys 
if you want to like super fast renders of your blender scenes uh, make sure you go to the omniverse launcher go to the exchange go to the app section over here and look for the alpha build of blender click on that install it and then it will show up on your library launch it and you have this ability to uh, import usd files made in blender so in once it's loaded you, you, this uh extension will be added over here the connector and you'll be able to click export and bring it into omniverse and be able to get fast renders <laughs> so you can imagine how fast it's gonna be like if i wanted to create an animation like a fly through that's that gives you an idea if you have a really good gpu that's the kind of speed that you expect so this is amazing um, the quality looks awesome <laughs> i love it <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for joining me today and uh to i i'm like i always tell you guys like i'm always looking for tools that can speed up my work so blender is free and this usd rather the omniverse version of blender is also free so you can have fun with it without worrying that you have to pay for it right and you'll be able to bring to send any scene out of blender into omniverse and render it super fast you can use uh real-time rendering or you can use path tracing with the bounce sliding and global illumination you know awesome awesome gi so that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you're alerted when I post a new video. And as always, dare to dream big guys, never give up on your dreams. May you quick continue as always to use these tools to tell our stories, right? And uh, always look up. <laughs> Don't get so locked up in your environment that you forget to look up to see what else is available to help you create, bring your, your story to life. I'm always praying for you. Please stay safe. Much love. Bye for now. Kitty, kitty in the TV. <laughs> That's cool. All right. Thank you. Bye for now, guys. <laughs>